Hey, I'm Mixie Pixel, and you're watching OSL, your source for open source. I know I've been flirting with a bunch of different topics with my OS Alt show, and by far the most requested video series would be Icon has Linux commands. And yeah, so I'm gonna show you one of my favorites to kick off the series, and I command you to stay tuned. See what I did there? <laughs> This OS Alt is courtesy of GoToAssist by Citrix. How do I get file X off to internets? How do I download all of the files from site Y from to internets? Why do I still call it to internets? Instead of bothering yourself with free downloaders that may or may not work, just use wget. It's a free and surefire way to download all the things and it's pretty much effortless. There's also tons of options to customize it to your liking. WGET works on Windows, Mac, and Linux with slight variations between each, and I've put links in the description for whichever one applies to you. Since we're pulling content using URLs on HTTP sites and FTPs, we want to use tinyurl because it's just kind of tedious otherwise. Like with most programs within Linux, you can find out what your options are by typing wget-help. So here's the command. You ready? You ready? wget, then the URL. Now, if you just run it bare bones, it'll just save as a plain file, so I always use dash "-o", with it, changing the file name and container to whatever I want. And now you can do plain text video playback! Not really, but it still looks cool, right? Another option is using dash "-c", for continue, which is great for large files, or just all the time, really, when you want to keep the download going even after the connection was interrupted, or it was only transferred partially. Just to show how versatile wget is, here's the M option. I love, love, love this feature because it will help you download a mirror of sites that you find online. Extremely useful if you're a web designer or otherwise manage data where you roll over website images. The command I just used pulled the index file and main files, but if you have the willpower, time, and hard drive space, you can make a complete copy of your chosen site. Honestly, the feature list is so long, I couldn't possibly cover it all here. One of my favorites is recursive download function that will crawl the web and extract files, even at certain time intervals, so you can get the latest and greatest prawn without cron. And I rhyme. So this CLI stuff could be a thing. What's your favorite command to use and why? Let me know in a comment below, and feel free to also thumb up the comments that you agree with, and uh, we could have something really special going on here. Thanks for watching OS Alt. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source. Tech support. They don't have to be dirty words, but all too often are. It's difficult enough being the go-to IT person when you're in the same office, let alone when you're supporting members that work remotely. <sighs> but all that can change with GoToAssist from Citrix. Though vitamin D deficiencies are all the rage with we geeks, GoToAssist allows you to take control of your entire IT world with one simple cloud-based platform providing live or unattended support on your PC, Mac, or mobile device while you're sipping on gin and juice in the tropics. The super awesome thing is with GoToAssist monitoring, you can get customizable dashboards displaying performance of all networks, servers, and desktop. Plus, proactive alerting allows you to fix small issues before they become big problems. So you look like the hero. Oh, and here's the kicker. You can start doing all of this in minutes with a super easy setup, not to mention it's a product from Citrix, a trusted leader in IT, but I bet you already knew that. Sign up for your special 30-day free trial today. Visit gotoassist.com, Click on the Try It Free button and use the promo code OSALT. That's go to assist.com, promo code OSALT. I'll see you there.